a, a video. So uh, commercial BTs work exclusively through ingestion. Um, the caterpillar uh, larvae has to actually consume the crystals and spores. They can't absorb it through their skin. Now these crystals and spores, uh, the crystals will then dissolve in the uniquely high pH of the commercial, uh, uh, sorry, the high pH of the caterpillar midgut. Uh, this releases uh, those cryproteins, which are actually activated by the insect's own digestive system, which is kind of cool. BTs really use the insect against itself. Um, once activated, those proteins will then form uh, these pores, which, uh, when inserted into the membrane, uh, cause the cells along the, uh, the midgut to rupture. This allows um, Bt spores and other microbes that are in the stomach to enter the hemocyl or the, um, the insect's bloodstream and will actually kill the insect through uh, sepsis, through blood poisoning. So in fact, um, Bt's really colonize the insect from the inside out. It's, it's kind of grotesque, but really fascinating. Um, and if you do find um, intoxicated insects out in the field, um, you'll find these brown shriveled up insects uh, because they've essentially been colonized by all of the, uh, the microbes within, within the bug. Now this mode of action uh, is, um, is quick to stop feeding, um, but slow to kill. So this is a, um, a lettuce feeding assay. So these are treated lettuce leaves uh, with either um, Zentari, that's a VTA product, or uh, chlorinotriliprol, uh, the Renaxapir technology. Uh, this is what second, uh, second instar diamondback moth. And if you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, uh, there is the um, hours or days since application. So I'm gonna start this over again. <clears throat> and what I'd like you to focus on is that even after 24 hours, in both treatments for um, the Zentari and the chlorinotriliprol treatments, uh, insects are still moving around on the leaf surface. However, in contrast to the control, um, they're not feeding. And that's because when, uh, when the cryproteins bind to the stomach and form those pores, it actually neutralizes um, that alkaline stomach and prevents them from being able to, to digest their food, to, to eat anything else. And so for that reason, that feeding cessation will occur very quickly, uh, within minutes to hours after intoxication, while actual mortality, actually killing the insect, um, can take anywhere from a day or two. Uh, because that, that complete mode of action of colonizing the insect um, and, and working its way through their system just takes time, uh, just like it takes us um, a, a few days to get really sick after we catch a cold. And that's important to keep in mind because in the case of uh, chemical insecticides, oftentimes you can go out the next day and look to see if you have effectively controlled your target pest. But in the case of commercial BTs and really biocontrol solutions in general, um, when validating whether an application was effective or not, you really want to, um, to give the products sometimes time to, to work and time to control those insects. <clears throat> 